On uh, August 28th, 2017, the city was uh, doing some work at this intersection here, Taylor and Arlington, installing a right-hand turn lane. I received a call that the contractor had, a, had hit a power line um, while doing hydro excavation activities. The first thing that goes through your head, obviously when that happens, is you hope that everybody was okay and that nobody was hurt. You, you do think about the impacts that that could have had to their friends and family. The report was when they made contact with the utility, some fire did come out of the hole, so that's obviously scary. Once you learn that everybody is okay, you start to think about the next sort of impacts at that point. So work with the contractor, work with everybody to get power back on and, and make sure that everybody's safe. So in this case, pressures during hydro excavation operations were too high for this type of utility. And as well as uh, the sweeping motion of the hydrovac wand itself weren't cracked for this type of operation. As well as the access hole wasn't large enough to even accommodate a proper sweeping motion. A lot of time, especially all the cable, um, the outside jacket didn't bury underground for for a long time, like on this cable, probably over 30 years. So they are really soft and they don't able to handle as much pressure as the new cable is. We're not here to assign blame. We're here to, to learn and to try and prevent these incidents from occurring in the future. I think there would have been, you know, in the area of a thousand to two thousand people that may have been impacted. A couple of primary care facilities, there's some uh, retirement homes in the area and there is an ambulance dispatch center around here. It certainly impacts the traffic and I mean if there was an ambulance that needed to go out at that time I think that would have been a huge impact to them. I really hope that uh, you know when you're out doing your job that safety is the primary concern. Um, you know if you, if you don't know something it's okay to stop and ask. These utility owners know details about that specific utility that you may not. If a company or contractor did damage the line, then they would often incur the direct cost for repairing the line. And uh, there's oftentimes indirect costs as well. We don't want anybody to get hurt or worse. And working around these high risk utilities is, is dangerous. And we want to make sure that everybody gets home at the end of the day. In Saskatchewan, maximum fines for incidents causing serious injury or death are $500,000 for an individual and $1.5 million for a corporation, the highest in Canada.